Hi guys, now that the diff locks are in, um, let me show you quickly how it works. Uh, I'll swim at the same time and show you how the normal two wheel drive works and the four wheel drive and then the four wheel drive low range and then the four wheel drive low range with diff locks. So let me first start the car, get it in third gear so the wheels can turn. That's my diff lock buttons. That's the um, compressor, rear diff lock, front diff lock. Third gear. Second, third gear. So now you can see the dashboard light state still. No four wheel drive are on. It's a normal two wheel drive. Your rear wheels will always have one wheel turning. So you can, I can now stop this one. But that one, that one is now forced to turn. Now if I, can, if I go and stop this one, that one will turn. So that's your normal two wheel drive. Only there will always be a one wheel turning at the back. Front wheels, nothing will be turning. It's standing still. So that's two wheel drive. So now <coughs> that's a four wheel drive button there. I'm going to hold it in on the dashboard. There's your indication light that four wheel drive is now engaged. So let's put it in third gear again. Same thing at the back. You have one of these two wheels that will always turn. So if I stop this one. That one will turn, same that side, if I stop that one. That one is going to turn. Now that it's in four, four wheel drive, same will happen at the front. Stop this wheel, that one will turn. Stop this wheel. That one will turn. So that's now four wheel drive. You can see the speed of these wheels. <clears throat> That's normal high range. I'm going to put it in low range now. Same gear, third gear. Let's take it out quickly. There's a, a low range button there. See on the dash, there's a low range indication light that came on. Let's put it in the third gear quickly again. So now you can see the wheels are turning much slower. Same principle, it's four wheel drive low range, it's just it's turning slower, much higher torque, so the car will be a bit stronger. Same principle, if you hold this wheel, that one will turn, hold that wheel, this one will turn. Same at the front, four wheel drive low range, it's just a lower gear, stronger. Now if you use the duff locks, if I press this, my compressor. Okay, that's already in the compressor. Now I'm going to switch on the rear diff lock. That's it. Now the rear diff locks are on. You, can't, you won't be able to stop this wheel. You won't be able to stop it. This is the diff lock is on at the back now. So both these wheels will be turning, but the front diff locks are still off, so you can still hold one wheel. So now, now let me put the front diff locks on. You can see the wheel there, I'm going to press this button, there it goes. Now the front diff locks are on. So that's it. Now all four wheels are turning, same speed. And that makes this car much stronger. All four wheels turning in a low range. Thanks a lot. I hope you understand this and that helps. Cheers.
I think I duff something. Dorsey does. <laughs> 